Hey everybody, I'm Dino and welcome to my world, the world of technology. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a WordPress development server on your own PC. But this particular server can run off of just a USB drive so you can move it between machines or you can run it off of your, your hard drive if you want. Uh, so you're going to go to the site uh, instantwp.com. The name of the program is instantwp. It's a pretty cool program. It it basically runs a Linux uh, virtual machine that's running a WordPress uh, server with you know the Apache web server and with the uh, MySQL database and everything already on there and already configured, so that you can practice with WordPress or test things with WordPress or test plugins or, you know, just mess around with WordPress and, uh, locally on your machine uh, without having to set up a uh, full server. So to start off with, you're just going to download uh, Instant WP. You can download it for Windows or you can download it for, for Mac. It will work on both systems. Once you've downloaded it, you'll get the zipped file right here. If we go into the zipped file or uncompress the zipped file, you'll get this folder, which is um, called IWP and then it has a version number. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to this uh, USB uh, flash drive right here. I'm going to paste the directory on there. Now this should just take a take a minute as it has to decompress it as well. All right, so now we've copied it to the USB uh, flash drive. You could also uh, copy this to a directory or a hard drive on your laptop or your PC if you want to. You don't have to install it on a USB drive, but it's kind of cool that you can and move it around between computers. If we open up this folder now, it has all of the uh, things that we need to run a WordPress um, server and it runs it like I said in a, a Linux VM so the nice thing about this is when you start it up it will run and you can use it for development and mess around with WordPress you can even you can even try um, downloading plugins and such uh, but when you turn it off it's, it's gone it's all contained in this directory and within the virtual machine so it doesn't really do anything to your machine itself so you don't have to worry about installing uh, MySQL or uh, PHP or uh, Apache on your local machine and having that possibly mess with things so when you, once you turn it off it's like you've never installed it on your machine so it makes no changes to your machine itself so all we have to do to install it is we we run this start instant WP batch file in Windows and if you're running Mac it will have a uh, file called start instant WP that you run so I'm going to turn this on and it will take a minute for it to uh, decompress all the files and, and set up what it needs to set up initially and then it gives you this uh, this little uh, startup window here and it tells you some things about um, instant WP uh, and how it runs and it explains how the virtual server runs and such so you can read through these and go through them when you install it it also uh, tells you about um, how it will start up or how you start up the uh, um, WordPress admin control panel All right, and so so that gives you some details about it. And I'm going to just click close here, and it opens up this instant um, uh, local WordPress uh, installation. It's actually running now. So all I have to do is click on this uh, WordPress admin. So since this is the first time uh, it's been accessed, it, it may take a few moments to in initialize. Subsequent page loading will be significantly quicker. So that's just something to be aware of. 
And so then it opens up this window right here, which is your standard WordPress logon. Now we're going to type in the username admin and the password is just password. It's not the securest thing, but you're just running it locally. So there's no internet access to this anyway. And uh, you may even be running it off of a USB um, flash drive, as I said. So uh, we can click in here and log in. And then it brings you to the uh, WordPress admin uh, dashboard. Now we can go back to the uh, to the um, main uh, installation uh, local installation control panel here, and it will take us to uh, MySQL admin. If you want to go there, your plugin folder, your themes folder, uh, and uh, the WordPress front front page. So if we hit the front page there, it will open it up. So this is kind of the default page uh, before anything's been done to it. And if we go to the themes folder, it will actually take us to a uh, uh, a uh, folder here where we can uh, upload themes manually or adjust themes if we needed to. And if we go back again and we go to the plugin folder, it will actually take us to the plugin folder. And the plugins will be listed as subdirectories when you install them. So if you need to go in here to adjust anything or rename a file or delete a file, you can do that as well. So if we wanted to rename, we would just right click on it and perform whatever function we wanted to on it. So that is how you set up Instant WP on a uh, USB flash drive, or you can set it up, like I said, in a directory on one of your hard drives on your PC or your laptop, and then you'll have a developmental uh, software or a developmental server for uh, WordPress. And then when you want to uh, shut it down, all you have to do is go down here to the quit button and click quit. Confirm and it says it will now close and it just runs a shutdown uh, sequence there and then gives you this nice little bar to tell you that it's shutting down and so now it's shut down. This has been Dino's Tech World and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.